it's Carol, Carol's Corner Blog. The ladies at Mom Select sent me two of Waterpik's new products, the Waterpik Sinus Sense Netty Bottle and the Waterpik Sinus Sense Squeeze Bottle. I have used Netty pots in the past. And they do set, I do think they have helped somewhat when you're sick, which I am currently. So we're going to give one of these a try. My seven-year-old has already put the squeeze bottle to the test, and I have a video of his opinion. He didn't, he wasn't too fond of it, but you know, he's seven. So we're going to try this out and see how well this works. Be right back. For the first step, we're going to use the Neti bottle, and inside you have. For starters, the bottle. And you fill it all the way to this mark here with warm water. Basically, water that you don't feel when you have it running across your hand. If you have it too warm or too cold, you're going to be suffering. They also come with an entire bag of the saline solution that you have to add in the water. This helps keep it from burning also. This, it totally, and this actually separates so you don't have to keep putting the bottle back in. It's a nice perforation here. And you're able to just keep the little side compartment for the saline package. But because of the, the, the saline mixture, it does not burn. So it's, you don't get that same sensation as you do when you go to a pool and you get water up your nose. So we're going to get some warm water going here. Okay, we now have the water up to temperature, so we're going to fill our bottle up to the fill line. Could have a better design of having a flat spot where you could set it down when you're trying to work with it. There's a flat spot, but when you put it down, it tends to want to spill out. Alright, we will put the saline solution in. Give it a good shake, mix it up. And I find it best before you start doing this is to blow your nose good to get everything out of the way. And you'll have to blow your nose again when you're done. So, ah. Okay. So, this says that it is a, it's basically a control. When you don't, when you're not pushing it, it doesn't come out. So, if we start, adjust this. Start like this. You have to tilt your head and then go. And you just make sure you keep moving out. Straight through. It's a very odd sensation, but it's supposedly very cleansing for your sinuses. We'll see how I feel tomorrow, since I felt fine yesterday morning, or felt fine this morning, and then earlier today I started having an allergy fit. And this supposedly helps with allergies. I already took some allergy medicine, but it does not seem to be working, so. This is my next hope that I'll feel a little better. So, we'll continue. I 
I know this must be a lovely sight, but I want you to get a, a good idea on how these work. And you should always switch sides too. Never a case of having to hold your breath. You just breathe that breathe normally through your mouth and just let the water flow through. This helps wash away irritations in your nasal passages. I really love neti pots. And this seems to be a bit nice, nicer than a regular pot, the design. You don't have to tip it as much to get it to go out. With the uh, squeeze bottle, the design is a bit different. It's because it has a tube that goes up the center. So, you don't have, have to tip at all. You sit straight up and just squeeze and it comes up into your nose. So it t makes it a bit easier for little guys. That's why I let my seven-year-old try it. Well, I think that's about it. These definitely work just as nice as the other mini pot that I have. So, there it is. The water pick sinus sense bottle and also the water pick Sinusin mini bottle and they are both safe for if you're pregnant and even for children four and up so you, even little ch kids can figure out how to use these if you give them the right directions they're dishwasher safe so you can put them in your dishwasher to sterilize them. Well, there it is. This is Carol, Carol's Corner Vlog. Hope you enjoyed watching.